is up guys it is Rick Peak back and here is my latest video um it's been like just over a week since I last did my last one and it's been a bit hectic at home with various different things but I figured I'd do something different and um, usually when I show you guys like merchandise like DVDs or whatever it's usually wrestling ones but this time I figured I'd just show you some DVDs and blu-rays that I managed to uh, pick up over the last yeah probably last month or so um, um I haven't watched all of them yet but um, I'm hoping to work my way through them most of them were from uh, charity shops over here in the UK because they're just a haven for bargains and some of them were off eBay um, I've not spent a fortune to be fair and I've got quite a lot for my money so without further ado I'll get started um, I'll start on the DVDs first and just quickly show you them and then I'll go through um, the Blu-rays uh, the, one of the first ones I got was a, another one for my Slipknot DVD collection and that is for Liminal Inside the Nine I haven't watched this yet but I'm hoping to get watched as soon as I get the opportunity uh, that was from eBay um, and one of them I got from a charity shop um, it was in some sort of offer a while ago and I grabbed it it's Dirty Harry Clint Eastwood obviously um, great film absolutely love that I remember watching these with my nan um, which surprised me when I found out that she was a Clint Eastwood fan uh, next up is a classic they had the new version in as well or the you know updated version of it but I decided to stick with the classic because the other one looked a bit dodgy and that is the original Rollerball. Um, I remember seeing this film years ago, but I remember I absolutely loved it. So I grabbed that. I didn't get the updated version, like I said, uh, but I probably will at some point. Uh, next up is another one that I haven't seen yet, and it's probably a crime because I've seen every other one in the series, um, and that is Terminator Genesis. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of stick for not watching that yet, but... It was just something that I saw bits of it. It didn't blow me away in the trailers and stuff, but it was in an offer uh, in one of the charity shops. So I grabbed it. Uh, next up is another film I've heard a lot about, but I've not actually seen, and I'm hoping to watch that this again as soon as possible. And that is On Back. Um, this I got as part of a... An offer from one of the charity shops they were doing six dvds for a pound so it's you just you know i found five and then i ended up grabbing one uh, that my girlfriend wanted um, i asked her if there anything because i was one shot so she grabbed something or other i can't remember what it was something girly um, but i grabbed on back in uh, that deal another one from that deal was um ip man which um, i've heard good things about as well it's about the guy who it was a mentor, Bruce Lee, and everything. So I'm looking forward to watching that one. The case is a bit crap, so I'll have to get a new, new case for that. Um, another one from the six for a pound offer was Iron Monkey. I've never seen it, but I do like these Hong Kong Legends series. Um, I've got a few of them already, so I'm looking forward to watching that. And also in that offer, I got um I'll, I'll leave that one actually thinking about it um so yeah oh yeah sorry also in the offer um i got shrooms the unseen edition um not watched it my girlfriend says she saw it and she said it was all right so we'll probably give that a watch some night so that's one two three four yeah that's four of them and the other ones from the uh, six offer is later down. Um, another film I got um, went better go now is Jackie Chan, Snake and Eagle, The Shadow. Like I said, I, I like these Hong Kong legends, and I love Jackie Chan. I love his older films. Uh, I think they're great. So that was uh, the charity shop purchase. That cost me about fifty p, I think, uh, in the bargain bucket, and uh, you know, so that was a bargain. Uh, another charity shop purchase was um, a horror film um, that I've not seen 
I, mean, I think really I need to see the first one and if that is a sequel I'm not sure if this is a sequel or just a film it so I don't know what I'm going to have to have a look but I got Dawn of the Dead I'm pretty sure it's a sequel um, but I've read pretty good things about that so probably give that a watch at some point um, another one I got which is a sort of I suppose it classed as a horror film um, is The Babadook my girlfriend said she'd seen it and when I showed her it um, she said this wasn't the one she'd watched so I'm assuming that maybe this is a remake or something because this came out in 2014 and we were together then and we were watching films together then so unless she'd watched it on her own but uh, who knows um, I got another I'm going to call it a classic film and go with the rest of my collection it's in the similar case as well and it's part of the uh, Hitchcock collection and that is Rear Window um, I've not watched this I've seen the Simpsons parody of it but um, I had this highly recommended by a few people and I, I love Hitchcock films I've, all the ones I've got I absolutely adore them I've got Psycho The Birds and Vertigo and now I've got Rear Window so I'm gradually building up my Hitchcock DVD collection then I'll probably end up having to go out and replace them all on Blu-ray but uh, it is what it is uh, so moving on to the last three of my DVDs uh, this was the fifth of my choices from the six for a pound in the charity shop and it's Blackadder goes forth um, some of you guys in the States may not know what Blackadder is um, it's an English uh, TV series I don't know if you want to class it as a sitcom but it's a comedy and I love it um, it's absolutely amazing. Rowan Atkinson, who's that guy there, for those of you who don't know, who played Mr. Bean, so probably you guys in the States will know who he is, is absolutely hilarious. And then Tony Robinson, who plays his little sidekick, Baldrick, there, is brilliant. And that's the fourth series. That one's set in the Second World War. Uh, the first series is set around the reign of King Richard. I'm going to say Richard. I'm not sure. And then... Um, I also got uh, the complete second series of Blackadder I, I love Blackadder it's a shame it's taken me this long to get them uh, and this one is set in England between 1558 and 1603 and again it is hilarious it's just so so funny um, I think this is the one uh, but as um Appearances from Rick Mail, who was an absolute comedy legend. My girlfriend adored Rick Mail, and he was hilarious. He's in a few of these episodes, and various random people pop up as guests. Um, but yeah, um, Blackadder Two is just a quality, quality TV program that I absolutely loved. And last up uh, is one that I got in a buy one get one free offer. I got. I got Terminator Genesis and I grabbed um, this for the kids, the first series of The Simpsons. Um, it's all complete and everything. Um, I'm not sure if I've already got this. I probably have, so it was for the kids anyway, so I'll put it on their DVD rack for them. So that is all my DVDs and onto the Blu-rays now. There's not a load, um, so I'll quickly work my way through these. So most of these were from charity shops. First up is Wallace and Gromit, A Matter of Loath and Death. I love Wallace and Gromit. I am uh, almost a 40 year old adult, 40 in a month and a bit. But I love Wallace and Gromit. I think they're absolutely hilarious. So that was in a charity shop uh, when me and my girlfriend visited. They had a three for a pound offer and I grabbed this and another Blu-ray, which you'll see shortly, and a DVD, but I can't remember which one it was took them to the counter and sort of thought you know, they might, they're probably going to turn on and say the Blu-rays aren't included but guy put it through three for a pound but two Blu-rays so I was quite happy with that so yeah that was the first of the Blu-rays uh, Wallace and Gromit and the sale I love Wallace and Gromit and another one of the Blu-rays I got in that offer the second one is Despicable Me again I'm an adult I don't care I love Despicable Me I think it is a brilliant film I absolutely love it I sit and watch it most times when it's on even if the kids don't want to watch it i'll sit and watch it on my own 
I'm not bothered. I, I love Despicable Me. I just think it's so funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, next up is a film I've not seen, and I've heard a few people say that it's quite good and it's worth a watch. Um, for what it cost me uh, from the charity shop, which was ninety nine p, so less than a pound. Um, it's got Matt Damon and Emily Blunt in it, so I figured it's worth a shot, and that is the Adjustment Bureau. Um, so I'm hoping to watch that as soon as possible. Uh, one of two Blu-rays that I bought from the Cancer Research, uh, not far from us in Horsworth, is a 3D Blu-ray, and it also has the 2D Blu-ray in it, and that is Captain America Winter Soldier. That cost me... £2.50 £2. Um, so I can't argue with that I've not seen Winter Soldier so I need I will hold it on to see if I could find a copy and now I've got it so me and my little boy will be watching that at some point and another one I got from the same shop is a film that I absolutely loved I have it on DVD I've upgraded it now to Blu-ray and it's a film I've watched so many times and that is Leon. Uh, it's the special edition. Includes the theatrical and director's cut. So I'll probably be watching the director's cut because I've not seen that one that I know of. Up next are uh, some Blu-rays that I got from another charity shop. I got them from uh, St. Gemma's in Yeadon when me and my girlfriend were out having a ride out to get us out of the house. And these cost me 99 pence each so for what I paid for them uh, two of them are gambles one of them I watched the DVD but it was a long time ago um, and I, I, I thought it was alright it got a lot of hype and it was built up but I, I enjoyed it um, I can't really remember much of it as after it sounds but that's just down to my memory um, so the first one I got up was Avatar it's a 99p on Blu-ray it's a bargain, you can't go wrong. Uh, the first of the gambles, um, I read the back of it and it actually sounded quite good. So I figured for less than a pound I can give it a go. So that's uh, Solomon Kane. It, uh, it read quite well, so hopefully it'll, it'll be worth a watch. Uh, next is another film I've heard people talk about. And so I've been told it's quite good and it's definitely worth watching so again for 99p um, I grabbed it and that is Divergent uh, so this I read the back of this and it actually seems quite good so uh, seeing how, what that's like I'll uh, give that a watch at some point and the last of the ones I got from uh, Eden uh, last but by no means least I was looking at the others and I grabbed most of them. Um, I got, oh, sorry, I grabbed a couple of them. I grabbed Avatar and Divergent. I was still reading Solomon Kane when she came and put this next Blu ray out with a load of DVDs, and she'd not even got it on, well, she just about got it on the shelf, and I just took it straight back off. It's a film I absolutely love. It's a classic film. It's just everything about it is amazing. And that is Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Um, I was telling a friend of mine that I bought it, and he says, "Oh, there are you know many Blu-rays like that, but this one's mine." And it'll obviously, a reference to the film if you've seen it. Absolutely amazing film. If you haven't seen that, it's well worth a watch. Uh, it's set in the Vietnam War. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. It just follows a, a group of soldiers and uh, everything. It's just amazing, amazing film. And um, the last two, these were both um, eBay purchases. This one cost me 99p with free postage, which is a bargain. I've heard good things about this, and it's, to be fair, it's got a really good cast in it. So I figured it, it's worth a shot. And that is American Hustle. I haven't watched it yet, but we'll probably put that in one night and sit and give it a watch. And last but by no means least, is another eBay purchase. I've got the first three I needed the fourth, I've not seen it, and I found it on Blu-ray for about £1.49, and it's in really good condition. I've not got around to watching it yet, I think 
I'm kind of hoping we might get to watch it soon because I really want to watch this and that is Scream 4 so like I say I have the original three on DVD I have the fourth one on Blu-ray which means I now need to buy the original three on Blu-ray and then I can either sell my DVDs or see if anybody wants them so yeah guys that's that's uh, that's it that's my latest haul of DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like I say I got a hell of a lot for what I paid um, but that is the beauty of charity shops I don't know what you guys in the States call it if it's thrift stores or, or what but yeah for people in the UK we're after DVDs and we've always looked down on charity shops give them a go because you do drop on some right bargains yeah a lot of it could be crap but you always find the odd, uh, odd gem like I say I've, I've found a few Full Metal Jacket for 99p uh, Despicable Me Leon, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Avatar, some of these and like I say, the, the rear window and stuff like that. Absolute bargains, you can't go wrong. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That'll do it for me for now. And I shall be back pretty soon with a new video. I have something lined up, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks for watching. If you've seen any of the films here that I haven't seen, uh, please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of them. Um, if there's any of them that I shouldn't have bought, or if any of them you think are great, some are, you know, average, crap, whatever, just let me know. Um, if this is the first video of mine you've seen, you know, welcome to the channel. Please go back and check through all the other stuff. There's probably something in there that uh, you'll enjoy. Please subscribe hit the little bell button to get notifications of new videos and that's it thank you for watching the video and as always i will see you next time take care guys bye for now